<laughs> it's gonna look like I'm making fun of people. Disable people? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's gonna look like that, but this is like for a performance piece. Wait. My name is Genesis Vaughn, and I'm an artist. My earliest childhood memory is probably putting like towels on my head and asking for brat stalls. These are like my earliest memories of like coming into consciousness. <laughs> My parents were pretty supportive. They never like tried to deter me from like being into girl stuff. They just wanted to protect me. That's the only like reservations they ever had. They didn't want other kids to be mean to me, but um, other kids are where I mean. I had friends in like primary school but when I went to secondary school, I didn't really have many friends because I went to an all-boys school. And I'm trans. So I felt like they were just like, something is just different about me and they knew. I actually started like transitioning when I was in school, like kind of secretly. I was like doing stuff like bleaching my eyebrows, like dyeing my hair and stuff like that. Like stuff that I thought would make me feel more comfortable. People would say, why do you do that? And I would just be like, I don't know, I'm just emo. But I was doing that when I was in school. Mm -hmm. But when I actually started to like outwardly transition was like after I left school. I live in a small village. It's a nice village, it's like a bit scenic. There's like the canal near my house and I like going on walks there. I feel like I don't really fit in. Sometimes I feel like I don't fit in anywhere. So this, like where I live isn't really a, a difference, but I think people are just a bit like traditional. Um, but there's nothing wrong with that. I don't think there is anything wrong with that. It's just different. I was always into art, like when I was younger. I was always the kid that got like painting sets and stuff for like birthday gifts. But I was in school and I felt really like I couldn't express how I was feeling on the inside. And I was like bad at making friends. Like I only really had friends online. I didn't really have friends in person. I was looking for like an outlet to express myself and I was really inspired by the idea of people being scared of you as like a power. I definitely see my online art as like a digital fantasy of what I would like to create. My like Instagram is like one way of like displaying my ideas and like music is like another way like making physical objects is like another way but it's all just coming from me. It's not really like a character or anything. I stitch a bunch of stuff onto it and then I kind of like rip all of it out. My family, well they don't really understand it but that's kind of okay. Like it's not really for them to understand I don't think. My mom will usually say my makeup looks good even if it's like smudged off. Like, um, uh, pe like, bark from a tree. Um, that's basically the idea. From, like, the ages of 16, I always wanted to make music, but I wanted to work with, like, other producers and stuff. Nothing would really come of it. So then 
during COVID, I like kind of learned to like produce myself. It was really strange like when COVID happened. Something that would really drive me to make stuff is like, oh, I can make this and then wear it today and then people will be like, that's gorgeous, I love it. Like, I want one. I think the future of Genesis One is probably opening up a store and selling my designs and hopefully making lots more music and hopefully being happy and content.